Hi, and welcome to ZK Marek channel, where I explain the inner workings of all the things crypto. This is a teaser for the first episode. Zero knowledge proof seems to be a hot topic now, yet very few people seem to be able to explain how they work exactly. So let's take a closer look at Plonk, a popular zero knowledge proof scheme used by many emerging technologies. It's made of a few different pieces and each comes with its own interesting use cases. And here they are. Elliptic curves are used in digital signatures utilized in every single Ethereum transaction. Elliptic curve pairings are used in BLS signatures, which together with account abstraction are now being leveraged to build a new generation of smart wallets. Next, there are polynomial commitments, which are utilized in vertical trees. Vertical trees aim to replace Merkle trees, a very fundamental data structure which Ethereum is built upon. Equipped with all these tools, you can build ZK Snarks. With ZK Snarks, you can build privacy features, even on public blockchains. Next, we have recursive proofs, which power ZK rollups and privacy enabled blockchains. Finally, you can combine it all with arithmetization to build virtual machines like ZK EVMs and solve blockchain's biggest challenge, scalability. In the first episode, we'll deep dive to the very foundation of it all, namely elliptic curves, and build on top of them digital signatures. Digital signatures are an essential part of modern cryptography, powering Bitcoin, Ethereum, and any other blockchain. But have you ever wondered how they really work under the hood? For example, let's look at the easy recover function in Solidity. What are the mysterious arguments S, R, and V? The same goes for Ethereum transaction. It has a bunch of fields. Most of them are quite intuitive, like from, to, value. There are several others. But then again, we have S, R, and V. What do they mean? And why does V accept such a bizarre set of values, 0, 1, 27, and 28? By the end of the first episode, you will know the answers to all these questions. You will also know how elliptic curves are used in cryptography, how the digital signature algorithm works, and how they power every single transaction on Ethereum. Stay tuned for the first episode, coming out soon.